Now let us continue with this crusade against these worthless mutants and their enabling owners. I just read an article that was published this morning that infuriated me, as does everything with this dog nut culture. This was written in the Midland Daily News. It says, are you aware that the pit bull breed is so feared and hated upon that 75% of shelters euthanize them immediately after taking them in, not giving them a chance at life with a family. Let me stop right there. End quote. Who cares? Don't try to tell me I should care about a dog. Maybe you care. I don't. Not only that, the title of this article we need to change how we look at pit bulls. No, you need to change how you look at pit bulls. No, we don't need to change nothing. Because unlike you, we have evidence to support how we view pit bulls. Me personally, how I view all dogs. But let's stick to pit bulls on this video. What does a dog being given to a family do for humans? Nothing. So why should I care that it is not living with a family? I would rather it be euthanized, just like all dogs, or add it to the meat industry. My point is, you care about dogs living in people's homes. I don't. It doesn't matter if I'm for it or against it. You can't force people to value dogs. And you can't force people to believe that they should live in people's homes. We don't worry about other animals getting a chance at life with a family. What about the deer out there? What about the rabbits? What about the squirrels? They don't get a chance at life with a family. So what are you talking about? Stop talking about dogs as if they're human. As if they are real human children that we would have a natural responsibility to. These are dogs. So keep your dog obsession to yourself. Please, listeners, do not think that just because you read an article from a major media outlet that it is somehow gospel. Idiots write this stuff. I'm talking to the younger crowd who may think like this. Idiots write this stuff. Sometimes people who are absolutely, and I'm talking about legitimately, insane. Right? A fair chance at life wherever they are. They have a fair chance until they try to maul someone. And they shouldn't even have that first chance. Continuing on, says, it is my goal to get people informed on the facts and leave the myths behind. Of course, I'm not saying that every pit bull or any other dog that has bitten or attacked someone should get away with what they've done. I am saying that every dog should be given a chance at life, end quote. It already had a chance. What are you talking about? If a dog has mauled someone, attacked someone, she's saying they should not get away with what they've done, but they should be given to a family. That's getting away with what you've done. Once again, like I said in the previous video, this is that dog nut insanity that drives me nuts. What punishment are you suggesting that they get if it is not to be euthanized? Shelters don't punish dogs. What are you talking about? They should not get away with what they've done. How are they going to pay a price? What are they going to do? Absolute madness. This writer of this article, I challenge you as well. What's her name? Haven Young. Haven Young. Can't find your social media profiles. You see this video? This is a direct challenge to this absurd article you wrote this morning. Right? Continuing on with this ridiculous piece of garbage. The issue isn't just adoption rates or lack thereof by how people act around the breed in public. The first step 
to accepting pit bulls like we've accepted all other breeds is eliminating the prejudice that people have towards them. People can stop crossing to the other side of the street and or stop clutching their children closer as if they may attack when one walks by with their owners. Let me stop right there. How can you tell people not to keep their kids safe? How is what you are advising people to do going to keep people safer? Is this a step towards greater safety? Why should they do something like that? If they really feel afraid, why should they listen to you and pretend that they are not? How is that going to benefit them? How is that going to make them safer? How is this idea, period, going to make anybody safer? You're trying to get people to not take precaution around pit bulls. Are you out of your mind? How do people like this end up writing for uh, media outlets is beyond me. This is absolute madness. Going to tell people who genuinely feel afraid of a vicious beast. You're telling them that that parent is wrong for doing that? Because of what? The dog's feelings? Who gives a damn about a dog? A, a pit bull, whatever. Who cares? Continuing on with this rubbish, we can begin to educate ourselves and love a bull is a great place to start, whatever that is. I haven't even visited love a bull. I'm assuming that it's a website. Uh, she says, you can see in the statistics tab, there is a portion titled dog bites and pit bull bites where they state facts from a study conducted that many dogs are mislabeled as pit bulls. Here we go again. End quote. Here we go again. We've been here. We've been over this. All they do is, is bring up the same tired, previously debunked arguments. To you know, DNA testing in the study found that only 25 of the 120 dogs at the shelter labeled as pits were actually pit bulls. There you go. Now, why did they have to do DNA testing? First question. Why? Because they could not tell the difference. Do you think they would conduct DNA testing if they had a dog that was obviously not a pit bull? The thing is, these are all bully breeds. These pit bull nuts have to focus on the irrelevant in order to sound competent. What is irrelevant is whether or not it is a pit bull mix or a different Staffordshire Terrier, whatever the hell. I don't even believe dogs are worthy of the letters of our alphabet to be assigned these crazy, stupid names that we've assigned them. They don't deserve nothing that is that comes from human intelligence. But you got all these stupid names about all these bully breeds. They're all the same family of dog. We don't care what type of bully breed it is. We call them all pit bulls just to establish and identify them. Yes, we know full well they may not be what you consider a pit bull, but we don't give a damn. It's the same crazy dog. They're all responsible for the vast majority of attacks and serious, especially serious attacks. Continuing on, where am I here? She says, that being said, if a shelter isn't labeling their intakes correctly, how many of the bite or attack reports could also be incorrect? The chances are quite high. There you go. Where the media outlet says some person was attacked by a pit bull. She said, oh, it wasn't actually a pit bull. The same tired argument. Absolute madness. That is madness beyond her overall article, the whole point of her article trying to get people to behave even if they genuinely are in fear, worried about their kids. She wants them to not take precaution anyway. Don't move your children to the side of the sidewalk. Let them walk 
directly within inches of this mutt that is so paranoid, full of anxiety, naturally bred to be aggressive and violent and to uh, inflict maximum damage when they attack. You're telling this parent that they should let their kids, their toddlers, walk within inches of a mutt rather than move them to the side of the sidewalk. Are you out of your flipping mind? Again, does this increase safety? Or does it increase the possibility of more kids and people being mauled? This is what I'm talking about with this, with this dog nut culture. It is criminal. It is sick. It is brainless. Every argument that they have in defense of pit bulls or dogs in general is massively flawed and it is actually insane. It is absolute madness. I have no idea how, how this has gone on for so long. And not more of the population has called this out. It seemed like the opposition to this dog nut culture should be just as massive as the dog nut culture itself. Because the madness is that thick. At some point you wonder, if is there something in the water? I have genuinely wondered that. Something in the water that it affects the majority of the population. Because there seems to be a common level of madness between all dog nuts. It's like there's not much difference between their madness. It doesn't vary. They are equally, extremely mad. So please, this, this is a full-time job. If I were to report and critique all these uh, publications, these articles, I would have to quit my day job because it is a full-time job because everything in support of this dog nut culture is absolute madness.